Okay, a little crowded out here right now. Okay, so I've given myself approximately a minute to, to explain this. I found that the how-to format of my videos was not cutting it for me. I couldn't display my personality. I really hated making how-to videos and they were really boring and sucky and had no views. So, I've decided now, even though I'm still in the shop, to do vlog style videos, which means that instead of doing videos where I go step by step, I just be in the shop and turn my camera on, which makes editing way easier. And hopefully more, the video is more entertaining for you, the audience. Did that in about 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Well. First project of this week is actually to make a completely new longboard deck for my electric longboard build, which has been basically my YouTube channel this far. So, sadly enough, after I replace this deck, I will have replaced every single thing on this longboard except for the battery, the speed control, and this case. Everything else, including hardware, has basically been replaced already. Speaking of which, here is my dead motor that I virtually destroyed. It wasn't rain, wasn't a rock, it was just me using a hammer. I guess you're not supposed to use hammers with electric motors. So I have this entire week off because it's Thanksgiving. Well, I shouldn't say this entire week. I had class yesterday, which was Monday. Today is Tuesday at five o'clock. I'm getting in the shop finally to actually get started on this build and a bunch of other projects. So hopefully I can get some more vlogs out this week besides just this project. But we're gonna start with working on this new deck. So you can see my old one, which I made out of Baltic birch plywood. And I had a crack line that was right along the screw holes. And I'm thinking, well, water probably got in there and did some things. Looking closely at it, you can see there are several splits on the inside. And as a matter of fact, that is all of the factory lines from this Baltic birch plywood splitting. Nothing that was my fault. What that means is that I have to use uh, solid veneers instead of Baltic birch plywood or any other kind of plywood. So I bought this monster of a slab because the hardware store that I go to, uh, the lumber yard that I go to, didn't have uh, veneers thick enough. In fact, they have basically paper thin veneers. So I'm going to have to make my own veneers out of this solid, very expensive uh, block of maple. And hopefully that's good. Okay, I really don't need it to be that straight on the bottom. I don't have a joiner or I don't have a, I don't have a functioning joiner. But I do have this table saw, so I just went over it a bunch of times until I felt like I got it straight enough for my liking because I'm gonna cut this out freehand with a template anyway, and so I don't really need it to be that flat. Just need it to be flat and straight enough to sit on the bandsaw to make these veneers out of. All right, now it's time to say goodbye to the big ass knot and then we can do some experiment with the bandsaw. Whoa. The reason I'm working in this very cramped little space is because this is the largest open space I have with lighting. If you look over here, I have this light that just, for the hell of me, will not turn on. Like, what the heck? I have this issue where in the winter time, when it gets really cold out here, the lights don't work as well, but if I let them warm up, they're fine. But this light will still not turn on. This is all in all that workspace. Look at that. There's my workbench where I work. My table saw's right there. My other workbench is over there. 
come on light, you're dimming my spirits. Now that I have it flat and resized, I can come over here to the bandsaw and try to resaw it. I hardly have any resaw capacity. In fact, I only have about, mm, where is it, there we go. Just under 10 and a half inches of resaw capacity, maybe a little bit over. And I need about nine and a half for the actual width of the board, but I'm gonna go with about 10 inches for now. And uh, I don't know, this is my homemade bandsaw. It's got a really cheap blade on it. It's also really dull. I'm going to try resawing my veneers with this. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to, have to come up with plan B. All right, just got to get it squared up. It's pretty close. This is also hella dangerous. Put my head right there. Should also mention this saw I made myself and it's hella inaccurate. This table's not square to the blade, so I actually have to do this freehand in order to get an approximately straight line. I'm gonna start by doing quarter inch and then ideally plane them down to an eighth inch or less. Uh, but right now I'm gonna stick with this. I got everything marked. And I'm going to start. All right, here we go. Right, we are at about the halfway point. And uh, it's been about, I'd say, 30-ish minutes. Uh, this blade is just so cheap and dull. On top of the bandsaw, not being that great of a bandsaw. Um, but, it's working. And that's really all, that's really all I asked for was it to work. So, we have some other bad news though. It's like impossible to get back here. But, okay, I'm really still wedged. If I can get back here, there we are. We have some bad news. So as it turns out, the table is not strong enough to hold the weight of the board and so it tilted over time. And so right now, this is what we're looking at. It's way thicker at the bottom than what it is at the top. It's uh, very disappointing, but not something that makes it totally impossible to continue. Um, I got a two inch thick board and I only need four of these, maybe five. It depends. I think we're gonna be okay, but I can't say that I'm okay until we're actually done. So, gonna barrel on. Ew, look at all that bandsaw dust. It's like snow, but sawdust colored. Oh my god. Oh. That took so long. That took forever. It's faster an hour oh. of milling. Ooh, dark spots. What do the dark spots mean? And then here's this. Which we will work with. Swag. Consistency? Uh, yeah. 
so I think once I got to the point where the majority of the block was on this table, which was flat, and off of this table, which is slanted, then it corrected. But if you look, yeah, you see down there, you see where the line is, see how off it is? Yeah, it's a problem. All right, so now we have one veneer cut. So now, uh, although it's, uh, you can't see it. It's 7.30. Oh, that's false. It is 6.37, because I never changed that clock from daylight savings time. Now I'm actually gonna plane this down and uh, hopefully we'll, I'll feel like staying out here long enough to maybe cut another one before I go inside. I haven't ate anything today. So I'm like, kinda hungry, you know? I think you know. Line for veneer two is set. I've also added a block to prevent the table from falling. I adjusted the guide blocks. I must say, I think this is going to be so much better of a cut. I really do hope so. Well, was cut two better than cut one? I don't know, I did this again. Oh, you can't really see it because it's dark. Darn light still never came on. Yeah, that right there. See how the darn, I understand why it does that. I get this big thick spot right here. It drives me insane. Cause look at that, look how much unnecessary material that is. And now I got a big dent in this. So it's kinda like, what the hell? I may honestly now have to go off the other side cause how bad that is. Oh, well I've had about as much as I can handle tonight. That's gonna do it for shop vlog number one. That's what I'm gonna call it right now. More updates and part two coming up in the next shop vlog.